evening. I say evening because I am recording this service prior to my departure in the morning for Milwaukee. I am going there as an envoy of the Lutheran or Institute of Lutheran Theology, attending the Lutheran Educate, Educators Association Convention where ILT will have a display and will be joined by my wife Dale and Leon Miles will be coming to join us from Iowa. Tonight I will be using responsive prayer number two. It's found on page 164 of the Lutheran Book of Worship. If you have one, you may turn there now. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And we confess. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and was born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean, clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord God, our Father, you kept Abraham and Sarah in safety throughout the days of their pilgrimage. You led the children of Israel through the midst of the sea, and by a star you led the wise men to the infant Jesus. Protect and guide us. Now, in this time, as we set out to travel, make our ways safe and our homecomings joyful, and bring us at last to our heavenly home where you dwell in glory with your Son and the Holy Spirit, God, forever. Amen. We give you thanks, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your, dis, your dear Son, that you have this day so graciously protected us. We beg you to forgive us all our sins and the wrong we have done. By your great mercy, defend us from all the perils and dangers of this night. Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let your angels have charge of us, that the wicked one have no power over us. Amen. 
The reading today is the first reading for Reformation Sunday. It is from the book of the Apocalypse to St. John, the 14th chapter. Then I saw another angel flying directly overhead with an eternal gospel, gospel to proclaim to those who dwell on earth, to every nation and tribe and language and people. And he said with a loud voice, Fear God, give him glory, because the hour of his judgment has come. And worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. The Word of the Lord. Greetings to you. Greetings on this day that the Lord has made a day for us to rejoice and be glad. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Because the hour of His judgment has come. Doesn't it sound odd that the eternal gospel proclaimed to those who dwell on earth by the angel is the good news of judgment? We who dwell on earth do not normally consider judgment to be good news. Yet the angel insists that his judgment is the occasion to fear God, to give him glory, and to worship him. The particularity of this judgment constitutes it as good news. The judgment is not any judgment, but his judgment, the one who made the earth and all that is in it. It is his judgment, and it is not at any time, but the one who made the sky and the seas and all that is in them is the one who delivers judgment at his chosen hour. Luther can shed some light on this particularity. In his first public defense of the theology behind his 95 Theses, Luther set forth what has come to be known as the Heidelberg Disputation. In that writing, that set of arguments, he introduces major themes from this new evangelical theology, his theology. The distinction of law and gospel, the contention of free will versus bound will, and the rivalry between theologians of the cross and theologians of glory. Thesis 11 of the Heidelberg states, Arrogance cannot be avoided, nor true hope be present. Unless the judgment of condemnation is feared in every work. Luther connects judgment to the absence of arrogance and the presence of true hope. In just such a connection, judgment is good news. The hour of his judgment has already come upon you. Come upon you in your baptism. The hour of his judgment has been brought from the end time into your time by your being joined to the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ by God's word with the water at your baptism. There, God's judgment upon sin was carried out, death. 
All works done in the flesh are mortal works, which have but one end, death. There can be no arrogance when the end of all is the grave. There, in your baptism, true hope is given. God raises the dead. The resurrection of Jesus Christ as the first fruits of a large family is hope's guarantee. The good news of Jesus Christ is God's judgment upon the world. The hour of his judgment has already come upon you, so that during these days of your baptism you enjoy both humility and hope. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace. Enjoy the Lord. Thanks be to God.